Hi there, um, my name is Brad Byers, I'm Employability Manager at the University um, and I'm responsible for a few different things but including the recruit system. So um, this is one in a series of webcasts, uh, video guides in relation to recruit. Uh, this one's going to focus on how placement tutors and placement uh, administrative staff and support staff can use the cohorts functionality within recruit um, for their benefit. So, um, I'm just sharing my screen. So this is the coordinator view. So um, anybody within a faculty who is um, a placement tutor or a placement administrator um, is a coordinator and has this view of the system and, and these different kind of permissions and functionality. So um, to add a cohort, what is the purpose of a cohort? So you're a placement tutor um, and you have responsibility for a particular uh, group of students on a particular program. And um, using the cohort, you know, setting them up as a cohort within Recruit really allows you to uh, monitor their placement activity uh, in an easier way, monitor their activity in terms of the number of applications they're making, how many are placed, um, communicate with them, um, attach particular resources and files uh, that they can have access to within Recruit that is associated with um, with your faculty or, or school. Um, so it's easy to set up and it's, um, you know, it's, it's definitely um, a positive thing. So I'm just gonna show you how it works. So you select cohorts. So you wanna add a placement cohort. So um, for the purposes of this, this is in test. I'm gonna call um, my uh, cohort name, uh, my cohort BSC Honors Interactive Multimedia Design Year 2, 16, 17. You can put in a description here of your group um, and a message to your students that they would see um, the first time they log in and they've been added as part of that cohort. Or you can leave a blank, it's up to you. So I've hit submit, that's your cohort created. So you've created your cohort, there's no students in it yet. Um, that's the next stage. So you'll see from this screen you can do different things. You can edit your, your cohort, that would be your title and, and the message to students, etc. You can you can preview it, you can uh, attach particular resources to your cohort. So that might be uh, a placement booklet, placement guide, health and safety, documentation, uh, how to write a really good placement CV, um, you know, how to communicate with employers, or whatever. Um, you can also, so resources are mainly online links and files actually I should say are document, documents that you would upload. Uh, you can also schedule particular events that Recruit, uh, recruit will um, send the user and uh, the student uh, reminders of that. But anyway, what we want to do first of all is actually add the students. We've got the cohort name and I want to add the um, students to that cohort. So you can do it by adding a particular course in your group uh, or a particular module, or you can add an individual. Uh, you can even add yourself to that cohort. Um, so I'm gonna go choose add a course. So the list of course codes that you have access to is associated with your faculty. So um, it's basically using the HR database. So the university, you're obviously associated with a department or a faculty. Um, and that's how that's, I um, suppose, personalized um, for the purposes of test I um, uh, set up with computing and the course I want to add is this one two zero uh, eight one um, interactive media design full-time and as you can imagine it's year two I'm most interested in hit submit so I've added a group obviously a cross check that nothing's gone wrong um, I want to just double check that, that those guys are the right students, which I am happy with. So from here, um, so I go back to cohorts, just go back to your menu option. From here, I can add uh, links, CV Builder maybe, or um, uh, a really good website for finding placements for multimedia design students or whatever it might be. Here, I can upload um, documentation. Okay, so um, you have to upload files initially to, to, to do that um, from, from your coordinator page. So 
but you, you can really personalize this so that when the student logs in, if they're part of that cohort, what they will have access to are those resources, are those files, um, and that's that's um, that's uh, a good thing. So, so you set up your cohort, the right students are in the cohort. Um, what about how you monitor their activity? So if I move across from cohorts to students, now in ideal world, and this is something we'll look at, you, you would manage your student activity and monitor it all from within cohorts, but it's separated at the minute, which uh, we would love to change. But if you click on students, and you've got your cohort set up, you, you would drop down list, I've only, only got one set up, um, and um, I'm just gonna select it and hit find. And this is really the some of the most important information. So it's got all your students from within your cohort and the details, email address, how many applications they've made within Recruit, how many external applications that they've logged. So what that is, um, so we're conscious that not all students submit all their applications through Recruit because not all vacancies um, as much as we like them to be, but not all vacancies are available on Recruit and students secure their own placements and advertise through, you know, other websites, whatever. So a student can actually add their own applications to that as, as evidence. Um, that's useful, obviously, whenever these, thing, these numbers are useful, whenever you're um, allowing a student to potentially proceed to final year you know, having tried their best to secure a year-long placement but not being successful. Um, so the number of applications you can see who this student has actually applied to uh, and you can view that opportunity. Um, look at their external applications and, and the opportunities that they've actually uh, viewed. Okay, so there's lots of um, you know, quite powerful information there that if your students are supposed to be really actively using Recruit, you've a way of um, monitoring that. The activity status, you know, if you're using Recruit actively and uh, whether it's your placement shooters or placement administ administrative staff and students are using it uh, proactively as well to update their status, you can keep a handle on who's got placement and who hasn't. Um, and, and we know the difficulties of, of um, you know, of, of, of keeping a track of that information. So um, that's how you add and use a cohort.